now we're in. I'm not going to be streaming this one. Oh, I'm not streaming this one, but I'm recording it. My stream <laughs> is just such a bad frame rate and everything. And just ev just every part about it, streaming sucks. For a second I thought my Hold friend... Hold up. No. For a second I thought my friend's uh, health teacher was named Parmesan and it was... <laughs> Paris, man. Yeah. Right. Wait. Hold up. What? Oh, I was confused for a second. So, there is a... My friend, he showed his schedule and says he has Algebra 2 second period, right? And the teacher is Hofdeiser, and I know there was a guy in my school, Paul Hofdeiser, who died, so I was really confused, and I just realized he has a, a sister. Oh. He does Algebra in the school, and I was like... I mean, Algebra 2, whatever. I have a strange, a very weird type of life. I have gym first period. So, hmm. that's going to be nice. And then I have, and then it switches out on Thursdays to chem lab. So I'm like, all right. And then I have my chemistry class. And, I don't have uh, my schedule in yet. Oh. Uh, but, like, I know the classes I'm taking, just not when. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh yeah, what'd you think of the Steven Universe movie? Uh, I think it was good. Alright. This is so weird. Did you see the lesbian parents? Wait. No, I, I didn't. Oh my god. Alright. Oh my god. Oh ah. my god, I need to show you. You saw the PS4, right? Yeah. You coming to steal it from me? I, I, I just come over to your house and just, like, we can play Persona 5, but, like, the game's so long. I know. But Fire Emblem's longer. Uh, I was thinking about getting it, but then I never did. I actually... Because, like, I heard it's good and I heard it's Yeah, hard. I got it, and I haven't... I haven't completed any of the routes yet, but I'm on, uh... I'm on Black Eagles past time skip, and it's pretty good. Oh, it's Ryan. Ryan... Ryan. 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 So, uh, there's some really weird, so like, whoa, what kind of name is that? Another one of my friends has a, has a name, her last name, or his last name is Moshchenko. Okay. Oh, look, my teacher is Ted Cruz. Pull up. Oh, there it is. Alright, I'm getting... I'm happy. I, I share AP comp sci with my friend, so... Hey. Alright, hold Beauty. up. And then... What, oh my, I want to see my teacher's names. So we got... We got... Alright, last names. So we got Degusta, Adi, Stab. Alright. The drum. Petsrielendo. Eric. <laughs> Eric, no. And heh, that's literally my. Okay, like I'm gonna spell this out for you. This is my teacher's. Name. Huh. Heh. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I was per I was personally freaking out. Yeah. I Especially since one of them is blonde and one of them is... Yeah, uh, exactly. Oh my god. Yeah. And my, I was watching it with my brother, and he missed it. And I had to go back and show it to him. How did you watch it? I watched it from, like, this really, like, sketchy YouTube video that had some... Like, it was cut in parts, and then some of the... Sometimes the just, voice just lips didn't that. match up with the voice. Yeah. I, I watched it live on Cartoon Network. No, I, I didn't. I, I just learned of it this morning. I was like, all right, I'll watch it. Yeah. Well, I, like, I, I think I, I saw, like, I listened. No, last night I listened to the song, so I was like, yeah, this is pretty nice. I, Wait, I think, what, what's your favorite number? Uh, like, 
Hmm. So I really like change. Same. And, but I do like uh, what is it? Uh, other friends, just because of like the those like the background music and just like how it sounds. It's, like those the are just... definitely my favorite two numbers. Like yeah, with other friends, electro swing, nice choice, and like the animation definitely reminded me of the genie. Yeah, that the animation definitely well got a lot better. I like it a lot more than the just standard TV episodes. Yeah, and a more. Well, and then they put a lot more work into it. Yeah, and then change had a really cool riff. Yeah, that was pretty much it. But yeah. I think the singing in that was also a lot better because, like, the singer can go deep. Yeah, like, he went pretty, pretty low. And like, yeah. I have respect for people that can go low. Like Zach, I can go low. Zach Callison, kudos, kudos to Zach Callison. And on top of it, he's a decent voice actor. I did not like it when he was like, I don't, I don't like younger Stephen when his voice is all squeak, squeaky. I don't, I don't really like it that much. Mm. But older one when it's deeper. Congratulations, I like that. Oh, uh, two minutes till the direct. Who's your right, prediction? So uh, who's your next character for Smash? Well, they, they were talking about like Terry from SNK. I don't really know SNK that well, mm. so. Um, SNK. It is a. Uh, it's it's a uh, Japanese yeah. company. You know SNK heroin. Yeah. I have no idea. What uh, SNK is also just uh, Snake without the vowels. Terry Bogard. The video game character like, from I'm Fatal either, Fury. I'm either going Terry Bogard or My Shiranui. But Terry Bo I like, I want My Shiranui more, but Terry Bogard is a lot more likely. Who are these people? They're us. Now move Terry in. Terry and Bogard? Right. Terry so, Bogard. Uh, um, There's a good chance we're not getting Nintendo characters, so sadly Gino's not going to be in Smash. Maybe is... we could have a second DLC pack with Wall first Luigi. parties. There is... No, there is... this is just a rumor. But there is... that We're probably going to get something... It doesn't have to be a Smash Rack, but we're getting some kind of Monolith slot soft Ooh. in the direct. Probably. Because Monolith Soft was really pushing the direct, saying, hey, you got to watch this. Also, if you look at the tags, it says Nintendo Play, Play Nintendo Game, Gameplay Fun, Video Game, Kids, Action, Ar Adventure, RPG. So that's probably Pokemon, I'd be thinking. Oh, it's starting! It's starting! Oh my god, here we go. For me, it's not helpful. There we, there we go. <laughs> Yep, there we go. Yep, Overwatch. Yeah, yeah, that's what we thought. Yeah, it was already leaked, so... Yeah, we already knew. I'm happy that it ended with Overwatch. I thought they were going to end with Overwatch, so... Yeah. Like, well, Overwatch is dead, so like... Heroes never die. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, really? I think we saw him. Like, I I was kind of pissed when they started with Mario Maker and ended with Link's like, Awakening. I was like, yeah. I, I tell you, it doesn't look as doesn't look that bad. Yo, motion controls in the game, gosh darn it. Uh. Glorious. So, I just realized that when you're in the full screen tab, you can scroll down with your mouse and go to the comments section. I didn't know you could ever do that before. That's what? Cool. Yeah, that's, that's a thing you can do. You can look at top. I didn't know. I didn't because I didn't think to do it, and I was just accidentally did it. I was like, "What the?" F I just learned about it the other Hello, day. Hello, everyone. I was like, I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. I'm Shinya Takahashi. And that was, of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. Yeah, the game is scheduled here. for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th, so please look forward to it. Okay, let's get into dog. our first right. batch of Nintendo Griffin, Switch so headlines. When it's something please big happens, kind of just like scream and don't say anything. You gotta see these right. parts of the hotel for yourself. 
Luigi's Mansion 3 takes place in a haunted hotel where every floor has a distinct theme unlike any other. All right, Jason so Point, I don't know. It Tomb looks Suites. better in the E3 trailer, I but mean, now it looks a worse. pyramid inside like a hotel? Oh, well, now it looks better, but... Guess we should expect some mummies, harsh sand, and booby traps. As for the other floors, well, there's a disco floor, a pirate-themed restaurant. You get the idea. May not be the usual amenities, but there's a rogues that gallery of bosses to check out before you, well, check out. I, the ghost Speaking of nice. amenities, step right up to this all new attraction, Screen Park. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooigi team. With only one Nintendo Switch eight system, two eight eight players can battle it out. See which team can defeat the most ghosts. Collect the most coins by piloting floaties you know, with the Pokedex G00 like, oh and break God, the most targets. Right? Hey, even Luigi needs a break sometimes. Luigi's Mansion 3 opens its doors on October 31st, right, just in time for Halloween. Oh my god. Guys. Get a load of this new free to start Luigi Kirby game. The combined oh, forces of Kirby, 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 oh, and Kirby are in for some wicked boss fights. Here. We're calling it Super Kirby Clash. Why? Take up quests in town. Oh, why this? You and your team will pick four jobs. I want to meet Seriously. That's right. Get your game. weapons, get your, gear, Kirby Kirby get your gear, and get ready. It's a mighty tough enemy to win. Yeah, this is just There are more than 100 quests. So, get a look at your enemy and make sure you have the right jobs for the job. Pretty much. The key to victory is to know your role and work as a team. Hey, we should be hard to allies, so. Together on one system. Team up via local wireless. Yeah. It looks like or it's even play online. Star Allies, though, so that's all that matters. <laughs> Is it harder than um? It'll be time to unite with friends and players from around the world to yeah. overcome with each challenging oh, quest. Of course, of course, there's there's Super Kirby Clash today, launches thanks. later today. Yep. What else? And remember, it's free to start too. This long-awaited, recently released RPG is getting a remake. After 25 years, fans of the Mana series can look forward to the HD remake of the third game in the trilogy, Trials of Mana. From six different characters, you'll choose a protagonist and two companions. The ones you choose will determine which of the interwoven stories you'll follow through this reimagined world. Now you remember what will happen to dear Jessica if I And again, I don't know how it originally performed on whatever system. This experience will not be forgotten. As each character advances, they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger special moves and spells. Step into the light, or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character's appearance and abilities. That Unlike the classic out. version, characters have full range of new yeah, including jumping and combo attacks for each member of your party. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning game. to turn. Oh my god. Huh. Oh my god. You can Find jump. out what's in store for the beloved world of Trials of Mana on April 24th. Huh. Just what happened to the crew of this doomed ship? Oh. The Oberdin vanished sure at sea in 1803, only like to a... wash up four years later in Falmouth, England, with no sign of survivors. The fate of the crew game. remains I've unknown. This game a bit. As an insurance investigator for the East India Company, you must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. Isn't this already... Your analysis will rely it's heavily really on one less amazing. than ordinary device. Use the power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Watch to turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. You bastard, they take exactly what I did you! Explore the ship, observe the situation, and record your logical deductions. Without you, the true tale will never be told. What brought the Oberdin to such an end? Little by little, tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. Return of the Oberdin arrives on Nintendo Switch in fall 2019. Oh. All right, let's There's a small see. town out there with a big secret. This. And how much work they didn't put in a Pokemon? Never leave town. That is the rule agreed upon by the people of this peaceful town and the castle protecting it. It looks like one day there suddenly appeared a giant monster. 
defend the townspeople. Yes, oh my God, one boy named Axe will got an stand up to face it. And the only weapons he'll need are ideas. But to God, win one of these idea. battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's I any hope no to win. I mean I can win. During battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. Take advantage to gain the advantage. Now that's animation. Yeah. Seize every opportunity to protect your town animation. in this new RPG from Game Freak. That's, that looks and nice. Almost Whoa. all the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Toby? Hey. Little Town okay. Hero will make a stand on Nintendo okay. Switch October 16th. Oh, you can pre-purchase and preload the game later today. Whoa. I might get it. Oh boy! Fall is coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Hey! Come on, oh. give us a date, give us a date, give us a date. We can date, finally date. confirm the release date of Challenger Pack 3, Please, Banjo Badger. and Kazooie. Yes, yes, And the yes. release date is... When he comes out, the third day. Wow! Let's go! After today's Nintendo Direct, we'll yeah! broadcast a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie. Yeah! Yeah! Game's director, Masahiro Sakurai. Let's go! As a special treat, the video will begin Let's immediately go! following the Nintendo Direct you're watching right now. Oh! To tide yourself over oh until God. the release of Banjo and Kazooie, please check it out. Oh! I need to download oh! it now. Oh but my first, God, I need this now. Oh my God. Whoa! Oh my God! <laughs> what? Come on. Come on. What are they doing? Too much. What? What is what? this? Going back, we're going back! Huh? Virtual boy, virtual boy! Oh my god. Wait, what? Is it really? Uh, Who is it? Uh, it's definitely it's yeah. Bogart. Yep, there's SK. It's Neo Geo, it's Neo is Geo, it's Neo Geo that's Bogart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. SK! Huh. SK! Yeah! yeah. yeah. This wait, is wait, cool! Is Joining the battle. That means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the fighters pass. Can there really oh, be only one left? Me. Oh. Yeah, let's go! We're happy to confirm that yes! we have more DLC what? fighters what? for Super what? Smash Bros. Oh, let's Bros. go! Outside the five let's fighters go! included in the fighters pass. Yes! We can confirm that other new fighters yes! are in the battle. The battle oh, is over yet. Oh, yeah! Oh. Gino, 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 please. 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 Oh my god. So, what do you think? You Regarding what was announced about additional fighters at the end of that segment, we'll have more to share with you in the future. For now, let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Yes! I am! Alright, Link's Awakening. It's about time to wake the Windfish in the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Which means the next big adventure on Nintendo free? Switch is fast approaching. I, I can't, they, they, You'll meet some strangely endearing islanders. Face a series of puzzling tasks. Me. 
A trailer for and encounter some two. oddly familiar faces. Yo, they've got whatever happens, help Link escape Koholin's Island before its mysteries get the best of him. With the all new Chamber Dungeon, you can place chambers earned on your adventure to arrange your own dungeons. Add in plus effects that alter chambers. And save Chamber Dungeons to a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda series. That way, your friends can play them. Be ready. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening will launch before you know it on September 20th. The new Link amiibo figure will be available that same day. But it comes out in November. You know the hero's might from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now join his adventure. Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition is exactly that. The most complete version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. Travel to past Dragon Quest worlds. And experience new character focused stories. The day the game launches, free downloadable content can be found in the Champions Pack, including consumable oh items God. and more equipment that can change the appearance of party members. Yeah. An RPG giant yeah, draws near. Dragon Quest XI so Echoes about, like, of an Elusive Age Definitive, definitive like, Edition okay. journeys on to Nintendo Switch September 27th. Until then, you. you can prepare for your adventure with the free demo on Nintendo eShop. Like, Alright, there were two in the anime games, and uh, nah, I was just like, I thought Netflix was coming this winter or something, which I'd be happy for. Looking for more Fire Emblem goodness? Oh. Then say hello to Tokyo! What? Oh. Yeah! The worlds of the Fire Emblem series and Atlas games have crossed paths, and the result is oh. coming to Nintendo Yo, Switch. Anime? Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah hell. Daniel, the story takes Daniel. place in modern-day Tokyo, where creative okay, energy um, is so um, abundant um, it's materialized yeah, into something uh, called Performa, uh, today, right which attracts the wicked mirages crash. who suck it out um, of people. You'll face we off got, against this threat uh, as up-and-comer Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment like, business. Wow. Fire Emblem characters like Prom and Sita will join you from another dimension. Together, you'll wage deep turn-based battles. Blending the combat of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And, in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Be sure to check out the other new features, from the new story elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first time. Hey, is that Tiki? Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore releases on January 17th. You can pre-purchase the game later today. Welcome back to where nothing is what it seems. Boston, 2019. It all begins again when FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation into an old serial killer case. She also opens a door to the unknown. A door that also takes us back to New Orleans 14 years ago. Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing in disguise, boggles and beguiles on Nintendo Switch in 2020. And now for a shocker. The original game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop at Deadly Premonition Origins later today. I didn't know what this game was, so... Divinity Original oh, yeah, Sin 2 Definitive Edition is finally right, coming to Nintendo right. Switch. And Check it out. And Kirby, uh, Super Kirby Clash. Wait, Kirby? Yeah, uh, it's not real. Uh, Kirby Clash Deluxe for the 3DS? Uh, yeah. They're porting that to the Switch. Oh, uh, Divinity Original Sin. Well, I'm happy they got rid of, like, they're not supporting the 3DS anymore, thank god. Yeah. Wait, when did they stop? Last year? Like, last year. Yeah, they stopped after... Like, I, I'm pretty sure games still exist on there. Like, yeah, they, they stopped after Kirby's extra epic Oh, that's interesting. Like, I know I'm watching a live sometimes I wish I could skip through things. That's why I, I like watching bots a lot. Like, there's... 
There's a lot of down. I really just can't now wait for a oh, message from Bethesda. Are they implementing loot boxes? Hey Nintendo fans, Pete Hines from Bethesda. On behalf of everyone at id Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Yeah, well, this year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first-person shooter franchises ever. And to celebrate, oh, we're re-releasing yeah. one of our favorite Doom. games, <laughs> Doom 64. For the first time since its yeah. original release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially right. available on a Nintendo console. We live your crusade against the demons in more than 30 action-packed levels. You know, point, or if you're a newcomer, experience the retro first-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. Everybody's releasing old games. Nintendo. Doom 64 will release on Nintendo oh, Switch on November 22nd this, this year. Now, introducing a brand new IP from developer High Res Studios, Rogue Company. To most of the world, Rogue Company is a rumor at best, but its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety of objective-based game modes. Whether you wield guns, gadgets, or melee weapons, your playstyle will depend on your choice Yo, of mercenary, which can it, be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more. When Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch in 2020. How's it going? Next, the new titles in the core Pokemon oh RPG series, oh Pokemon Sword Here we go, and Pokemon Shield. Here we, go. we have How more information to share that will shed new light on this next Pokemon go. adventure. Please take a look. Yeah, remember Griffin, you're ahead. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield take place in the Gala region. A scenic land Yo, where people and Pokemon work together expensive. toward a prosperous future. Among them, You'll encounter new Pokémon and meet yeah. new people I throughout tell, your adventure. They make some Today, nice we'll cover characters. four features four you can look four. forward to. You know, wait, you know when they said they were taking out First, the so customizing like, your look. Once again, like, the latest dynamic. entry in the series lets Ooh. you pick your outfit. This time, it's not just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety, including shirts, outerwear so. and gloves. Okay. okay. Plus, you can, can change your hairstyle, like <laughs> or put on a little <laughs> makeup. There's a lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. You've got to look the part too, don't you think? Second, Pokemon Camp. During your journey through the Gala region, you can camp anytime at Pokemon Camp. While you're there, you can play with your Pokemon. And as you get to know them better, they'll also improve in battle. Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps too. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. We definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. Third, curry on rice. Pokemon Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Curry on rice. How your curry turns out and what type it is ultimately depends on which berries and other ingredients you use. Not to mention the heart you put into it. This is where the animation is. There are more than 100 types. And each one you cook up will be registered in your curry box. The goal? Oh to master Whoa, the art of curry. That? Huh? What's that what Pokemon that? doing here? And fourth, we'll introduce yeah. some new Pokemon discovered oh in the gallery. God. First is Poltegeist. Normally, it makes a home for itself by hiding amongst tableware, hotels, right. and restaurants. Hi. Its body is made of tea, complete with its own aroma and flavor. It may even like allow a trusting uh, trainer to taste its tea. This like ghost-type Pokemon also has a special ability called Weak Armor. 
Next, another oh, new Pokemon yeah, called Cramory. This flying yeah, and water type Pokemon has won a huge like appetite. Like it will swallow yeah. anything it can fit in its yeah. mouth. Like 300, like 300 when it uses apart, surf or Pokemon. dive during battle, watch as it rises thing. from the water, along with the catch <laughs> in its mouth. If it takes That's damage in this place. state, it'll right, retaliate so. by spitting out its cash at attack the attacker. Attack. This is Clamor's like exclusive That's new ability, Gulp yeah, Missile. Gulp Missile. Gulp Missile. Right. And that's all we have to share with you today. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will launch Maybe on Nintendo Switch November 15th. I don't know. I feel like they're going to make more cooking recipes in the Well, Pokemon how about the that? There are still two more months until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can start your new adventure in the Galar region. Yeah. So, it's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch Online memberships. With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. And now, we're looking to add in an additional library of games. It's called Super Nintendo Entertainment go. System it's Nintendo Switch Steps Online. Yeah. With this, you can play a variety of classic yeah. Super yeah. NES yeah. games yeah. on Nintendo yeah. Switch. There are some you may not expect, like Stink Race FX, which will be available to play on another system for the first time. You can face off or team up in local multiplayer by passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend. Or even play together online. Let's go! Oh, and the rewind function nice. will be available from launch. Here are the first games we Imagine plan to release. Running this game on Nintendo Switch. All 20 of the games you see on screen will launch tomorrow. Of course, we will eventually add more to the lineup. Interesting. This offer is exclusively available to Nintendo Switch Online members, so please enjoy them at no additional charge. Oh, you noticed this, did you? To recapture the original feel of these games, we will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online exclusive controller as a special offer. To charge it, you can use no, a USB no, cable, just like they're the Nintendo places. Switch Pro Controller. Okay, this Super NES games. style okay. controller will be available for purchase exclusively to Nintendo Switch the online the members. The Visit the Nintendo website for the latest information on its release. Wouldn't it be yeah. nice yeah. to play yeah. those yeah. games yeah. again yeah. with one of these controllers? Yeah. Well, let's move on to some more Nintendo yeah. Switch headlines. Whoa. Sure, you know Tetris, but can you survive battle? this? Oh, yeah. Nintendo Switch Online members, the large-scale puzzle yeah. battle game Yo, Tetris 99 is getting free update. Tetris 99 Invicta is here, and not for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Can you survive against the best of the best? Well, good luck. We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. By clearing these missions, you can acquire tickets and exchange them for a variety of custom no, they, they games. They want you to buy the NES. Sweet! Oh. To showcase your accomplishments, we're tossing in a vast array of new player icons, oh, too. Beyond that, the second wave ah. of paid DLC is here as well. In ah. two-player share battle mode, pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for a two-player game against DLC each other is. and the CPU, ah. and get together with friends it's to battle via DLC local wireless on your Nintendo Switch systems in local game. arena mode. The version 2.0 update oh, for Tetris 99 will be available tomorrow. A packaged version the including the game, DLC, and a Nintendo what? Switch Online 12-month individual membership will be available was September 6th. What was Mario and Sonic are ready to kick it old school in Tokyo. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games has become a tradition of its own. This time, there are more than 20 events, including the 100 meter, karate, football, Skateboarding, rugby sevens, sport climbing, badminton, gymnastics, surfing, and you know what? There's more where that came from. Check out these 10 retro style events. Each one rocking some sweet 2D style graphics. They're all new, all retro, and very refreshing to play. On top of that, there are new mini games. 
unlockable characters, and a story mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 will go for the gold November 5th. The next Damon X Machina demo will be here sooner than you think. Ahead of the full game's release next week, the free demo version, Damon X Machina I Prologue Demo, will be I available for download later today. This In this prologue, you'll man your mech through the beginning of the I game. Might get it. And all of your progress can carry over to the full game. If you've I never played a mech action game and you're you, wondering it, what it they're look, all about, like this is the perfect better. time to take one for a test drive. A key feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players, and we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. So, gather your friends, and make the bosses feel like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. What hides beneath your mech's armor? A god or a demon? Game and X Machina will be ready for action September 13th. Like, Star Wars oh, Classics is so okay. fun, it's back for more. Fine. Kyle Katarn, agent of the New Hell Republic, yeah, is our only hope to stop yeah, a rogue okay. Jedi. Knights of the... Put your lightsaber at the ready, blaster in hand, and prepare to wield the full power of the Force. Courtesy of Aspire, the full single-player experience of Star Wars, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, is coming to Nintendo Switch September 24th. I think Microsoft says something about the full. We've got new details on some upcoming games. Here's where my journey begins. You are Geralt of Rivia, mercenary monster slayer. Your current contract? Tracking down a living weapon known as the Child of Prophecy. You'll have a whole world to explore, at home and on the go. When The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Switch on October 15th. And all downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Then transform into the ultimate assassin hunter in Assassin's Creed Rogue. That's two action-packed games for one great value. All past single-player DLC and new features like touch control and motion aiming coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch in Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the online free-to-play action RPG Dauntless. Whether you're a veteran looking to take your Slayer on the go, or a rookie ready to forge your legacy, you'll hone your skills, craft and customize hundreds of gear options, and team up with other Slayers to take down boss-sized behemoths. As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch, and there's plenty more on the horizon. Open your calendar, more games are on the way! Farming simulator, dude. It's the best. Alright. Okay. Alrighty. Montage. Just Dance 2020 on the Wii. Let's go. How's everything going? Next up, Animal Crossing New Horizons. We revealed many details about the game back in June, so we prepared a video covering what was announced. Let's see, shall we? Thank 
Thank you for choosing the deserted island she getaway like, package. A laid back, <laughs> relaxing time in a haven of nature awaits. Uh -huh. For you and other folks participating in the getaway package, the time's come to get into the groove of deserted island life. It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Please select the spot where you'd like it set up. Oh, and there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook wow. Phone. It comes pre-installed oh, oh. with a variety of apps for all your deserted island needs, including recipes for crafting tools and furniture. Let's start by crafting an axe. We're going to need some materials, like branches. Yeah. And stones. Then we'll head to resident services and use the workbench. Nicely done. You can use the tools you craft to acquire new materials, like this. And with those, you can craft more items. Feel free to place furniture inside or outside. You can fine-tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style. And you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. Let's head back to resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. We also buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove, as part of our island cleanup plan. In addition to the usual in-game currency, Bells, you can also earn Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. Go fishing, catch some bugs, tend to flowers, and pick them to make a garland. Thanks to crafting, even weeds have like releases. If, if, if Hightail has anything, it's probably going to be like a... Like you get like a vacuum pole makes it easy to quickly stuff. cross a river. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. Plant it somewhere else to change things up in that corner of the island. The scenery changes with the time and weather. There will be sunshine, cloudy days, rainfall, and enough wind to shake the trees. Depending on the time of day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch too. Sociable types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously up to four players at a time on one system. We hope you enjoy living together and working together in the same space. With a local wireless or internet connection, you can travel to another player's island for a total of eight players in one visit. The oh, whole yeah. scene feels meant to be. Why not snap a photo with everyone and make it a game? lasting memory? You just make yourself look super out of it. Would you guys get this game? I might. Oh, yeah. How's yeah. deserted island like, like looking? I know the other what we've shown you for the day is truly just the beginning. Like There's so much more this. waiting to be discovered. So many activities, animals to encounter, Yo, and more calling to you from yeah. the island. Yeah. We can't wait for you to experience the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. Yo, he got a snow a snowflake in his hand. How cold are his hands? 20, 20, 20. That man can pocket a tree. He's an absolute... So, how'd it look? 
There's still a bit more time until the game launches, so please stay tuned. Alright, the next game will be our last announcement of the day. Please give it a look. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Do you wish to change it? It may be a sequel. Huh? Are we getting oh, a three? Why do you finish with a port? Like the future. Yeah, why do you finish with a port? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think this is a port. This is such a... You know, it's a port that just be like, oh, we're this game. No, this isn't new. This is definitely a new game. It's a definitive, uh, definitive edition. Oh, so it's, it's a port. So it's like a oh. HD port. Like, come on, you couldn't have finished with that touch else. Or Really? Why can't you finish with Smash? Or, I don't know, what else? What else? I'm, I'm good with this. Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, is destined to be reborn on Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. The game is planned for release in 2020. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't freak out. I desire hype. All right, all right, Wait, Banjo Kazooie, let's go, let's Wait. go. Hey, They're raring to go. Wait, Here we it. go. Is that it? Woo! Hello everyone, I'm Masahiro Sakura, director of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game. In our last showcase, I talked a little bit about theater. Today, I'd like to show you all how to use Banjo and Kazooie. You may feel like some time has passed since our hero showed like but we're actually recording this only two days after that broadcast. We sure are busy, even if I say so myself. Now that today's Nintendo Direct is over, please let me take just a little bit more of your time. You may remember in the hero showcase, I was playing by myself, using two controllers, like this. With Hero, if you cast spells using command selection, any opposing heroes will block those attacks automatically using your shield. So, in the background, I was actually using the second controller to make the hero look away or do moves so my attacks would connect. Today I have my controllers set up side by side, but back in the GameCube days, I lined them up vertically, like this. Try doing this with the Nintendo Switch Pro controllers, however, and you'll end up accidentally pressing the L and R buttons. So, even though it's a bit of a pain, I do it like this now. This time around, I'll also be doing my best to control two fighters at once, kind of like Banjo and Kazooie, two characters acting as one. Alright, let's get started. So, what is Banjo Kazooie? Well, in terms of genre, it's similar to Super Mario 64, and it was first released on Nintendo 64 back in 1998. The character Banjo made his first appearance a year earlier in a game called Diddy Kong Racing. After that, Banjo Kazooie was released, and then Banjo Kooey. Two titles were then released for Game Boy Advance, although they never came to Japan. And then there's Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, which was released on Xbox 360. As some of you may know, the Banjo Kazooie IP now belongs to Microsoft. I'm using the latest version of the software. Come on. Technically, they're a rival platform holder. Even so, they were happy for Banjo and Kazooie to join the Super Smash Bros. series. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Rare also welcomed us with open arms. So, if you want to play Banjo Kazooie today, you can do so on Xbox. I know this is a Nintendo broadcast, but please give the game a try on Xbox. Now let's talk about the music. 
The Banjo-Kazooie series music has a country feel to it. If we were to include this music in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as is, it wouldn't really match the atmosphere of battle, so we put a lot of effort into arranging the music for the game. We'd like to play for you several of these arrangements during the showcase. Up here. Yes, here. You'll see the track names. Okay, let's take a look at the fight. Here fighters. we go! I thought he was, like, talking to someone. So this is Banjo and Kazooie in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. There's Kazooie. We're using a special ROM today, so the camera is a bit different from the production version. We've included lots of actions Banjo and Kazooie used in the original game. For example, the talent trot here is used for their dash. And their jumps are based on abilities like flat flip and feathery flap. Yo, how is he able to do this? Yeah. Their neutral attack is called crosswipe. This ability looks similar to this in the original game, but we built upon the original motion so it better fits the action of our game. Their flurry attack is a rat attack map. Their dash attack is a forward roll, which is something Donkey Kong uses as well. This move is a pretty useful one. Their down tilt is beat bar. Their up smash is build drill. It looks a bit different from their original games, but their animation reflects the fact that it's a consecutive attack. In Japanese, their side smash is called Harisen Kazooie. Harisen is a word that only exists in Japanese, so I was curious what this move would be called in the West. In English, it's called Regal Bash. I think Regal is the type of bird Kazooie is, so this basically means Bird Bash, which is pretty accurate. Their neutral air is Wing Rat. Their back air is an air rat attack rat, which hits three times. Their down air is Beat Buster, which they use to downstab as they drop. As you can see, even their regular attacks are based on attacks from their original game. The down and up taunts were something that existed in the Banjo Kazooie series too. The up taunt is based on an animation from Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, where Banjo sometimes stretches. Now I'd like to go over their special moves. First, their neutral special is Egg Firing. It's pretty much their go-to move. The eggs bounce. And by holding down the button when launching the eggs, you'll do the attack you see here. Regal Blaster. Regal Blaster is based on this part in Banjo Tui where the screen mimics an FPS. You can hold the button for auto fire, but as you do, the power of the eggs will gradually decrease, so you'll need to be careful. You can cancel it by crouching or pressing the shield button. That's not that far. Next, their side special is Wonder Wing. I feel like Banjo's As in the original be game, it's an invincible charge. Like his aerials look like they're decent. It's fairly powerful and will basically win against any other attack. However, you can see some feathers above Banjo's head. There are five of them in total, and I just use up all of them. After using them up, you won't be able to use your attack again until you lose a stock. Since the remaining uses of Wonder Wing only appear above their heads once activated, you'll really need to make sure you hammer the number of uses into your head. You can use it as a recovery option. And since it's likely to trump counterattacks, it doesn't have many disadvantages. But it does have a weak point. If it's blocked with a shield, for instance, you'll be wide open to attack. In addition, you can be grabbed during this move. At any rate, keep track of how many Wonder Wing uses you have left. And when fighting against Banjo and Kazooie, make sure to take action against this attack, and remember to keep an eye on it. It's important to keep this in mind. Next is their up special, Shock Spring Jump. This move utilizes the Shock Spring tab from their original game. There are a few things to note. First, you can hit your opponents with the Shock Spring pad. 
it can be used to recover, and it's throwable too. Also, it's pretty different from other up specials that carry the fighter upward in that you're still able to jump in mid-air after using it, meaning you can jump twice in a row. So if you're falling, you can use it like this, jump and then dodge, increasing your ability to recover. By the way, the height of a shock spring jump will change depending on how long you hold the button. Someone in the chat saying plants vs zombies, please. That's really good though, that he, he's able to jump like after his recovery nominee. Next, for their down special, Rear Egg, they'll fire a grenade out of his backpack. Uh, oh, so it's like a chargeable... It's a grenade like, uh, egg. This is a slightly odd projectile, in that it can only be launched behind the fighter. Oh, egg, that's a grenade. And because the grenade egg is football shaped, its bouncy trajectory can be unpredictable. After a certain time, it will explode. I think it will be a useful tool for keeping opponents in check. It's treated like an item, so you can pick it up and throw it. Diddy, maybe, in a sense, because like Diddy had to. Your opponents can also throw it back at you. But its detonation sequence is relatively short. So both you and yeah, your opponent will need to lot. make sure you throw it quickly, or it will explode while you're still holding it. It also looks like it does less damage, but... I guess there are a lot of different ways to use this ability. <laughs> Lastly, their final smash is the Mighty Ginginator. The Mighty Ginginator is what delivered the final blow to Bruntilda in their original game. This move will send your opponents flying. Jinjon Matar. This stage is called Kurukuriyama in Japan, but in the west it's called Spiral Mountain. As you can see, it's a mountain where the bottom portion is a spiral shape. A rotation icon will appear. And the stage will spin. This is quite unusual, even for the Super Smash Bros. series. It's truly unique. For a second I was gonna say, Anything you know, on the stage, items hazards, or otherwise, will yeah, also move. The As the stage turns, the shape of Spiral Mountain will also transform, meaning your recovery points will also change. Platforms like this will appear from time to time. A bridge will also appear when Gruntilda's lair is visible. I was thinking, like, will it be tournament standard without, like, hazards? Now that we've you know, covered both the fighter kind of, like, and the stage, the side, let's sure go ahead and jump into some but active then I think, battles. Like, there's kind of like, you see the drop there, I think you can stand below, so I'm not sure. This time, I'll be know. taking on not just one, but two fighters in a team Yo, battle. Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong versus Banjo and Kazooie. Hang on, so there are actually two on my side too? So I should be fine, right? Probably not. In fact, Yo, definitely yeah. not. Like Looks like I'm gonna get beaten up pretty bad if I just stand around, so I'll I play carefully. I should probably keep them in check. Your eggs, which can be fired forward or backward, are useful at times like this. And thanks to Kazooie, Banjo and Kazooie can use moves with a relatively wide range of attack. We'll make good use of these as we take them on. Note we're playing with items on. Hmm. I think we're doing pretty good so far. I like how it's not I have two sort of opponents, and since shit. items are on, they'll have That's twice like, as many opportunities to pick up items. And since the final smash meter is on, the opponent can use it twice. Now these are probably I'm at quite a disadvantage, but I'm going to try my hardest. I can use Wonder Wing two more times. Wow, you Sakurai. Is he doing this live? Oops, I, I guess I should be explaining all that moves. Huh? Auto fire, auto fire. Ooh, ouch. Oh, the final smash you just filled up. You can have that. Now. And. Nice. Now that there's one less opponent, this should be easier. It shoots up. I do right. want to use a final smash, but it might be a bit tough. Oh, that should be easy. Oh, that's good. Bruh, not even 
And final smash. I forced him out, so I win. Banjo picks up a jiggy from the original game. That's a wrap. The Japanese version is the announcer's English. I'd also like to talk about some of the cameos that liven up the stage. First, we have the witch Gruntilda. In Banjo Kazooie, this poor soul gets sealed underground by a boulder. Anyway, she's very cool, and you can hear all about her from her sister, Brentilda. This is Bottles, a mole, and another poor soul. His fate is sealed in the beginning of Banjo 2. Yeah? He's a friend of Banjo and Kazoo. Yeah. Next is Mumbo Jumbo. This poor soul had all of his mumbo tokens stolen by Gruntilda. He helps you out in many ways throughout the game. And we have Tootie. Can you spot her? She's running at the bottom. Yo, mumbo jumbo, it's the guy. She's tiny and can barely even make her out. But by zooming in, you can see all the detail. <laughs> What? Even at her size. Yeah, you, you could probably make an action game just yeah, using this. She's raising havoc on the vegetable path for some reason. Oh, yeah, they're using and after that, she strikes an enigmatic game. taunt. Now she's heading back home. She looks all calm when you look at her this way, but this soul is actually the saddest of all the souls. You'd understand how miserable she really is if you saw the game over scene in Banjo Kazooie. Oh, maybe she's not going home? And here come the Jinjos. We saw some of these a short while ago when the mighty Jinjinator appeared. They come in many different colors and were hidden throughout the world by Gruntilda in the original game. So you could say there are also sad souls. And now we see something floating around in the background. These are our basic enemy characters called Buzz Bombs. But since they can float around, they're lucky enough to have made the cut in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This is what they look like close up. It's basically a dragonfly, right? We put a lot of thought into the guest characters as well, and we put a lot of effort into these hard to see areas. So I hope you enjoy it. How much do you think? Like. Next, when let's the characters talk music. In the game, do you think, like, as I mentioned Nintendo, earlier, Nintendo we're taking Kirby style the music and adapting it for use in battle. Other paid to put their we're including in the a total of 10 music tracks. Of these, 7 are entirely new arrangements. Well, I've always thought money. that like, getting all this for $5.99 is a fantastic deal. Like a fraction so, of it from, like, I hope you enjoy it. The music for Spiral Mountain was arranged by Grant Kirkhope, who created the original Banjo Kazooie's music. I've worked with many musicians over the years, but this is the first time I've worked with a musician outside of Japan. I was a bit worried about whether my directions would be understood, but he did an absolutely wonderful job. And here's the list of tracks this time. Each of the new tracks has been carefully tailored to match the action taking place on screen. No, he, he made movies. Alongside the launch of Banjo and Kazooie, there will also be a software update. We're very pleased with the sales of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And to express our appreciation, we've added another game mode, which will pretty much be our final new mode. I'm going to go ahead and play, so please take a look. And here it is. You need to damage the sandbag in front of you as much as possible. And with this bat, not with this, but this bat, and off it goes. Hi. This is the best wow. Maybe a little too high. This is all you need. And so, and so, Home Run Contest makes its return.
Really it's been nice powered up in various cool. ways compared to previous home run contests, so please enjoy. This time, Sandback has flown 300 kilometers. I think that's about the distance from Tokyo to Nagoya. That's if you drive on the Tomei Expressway. You can actually play with the second player. Oh my God, he's gonna Let's give it a go. Attack, attack, keep attacking using attack. both players. Time to strike. Here we go. No. This isn't how you're supposed to play the game. When I say two players can take part, I mean friends can play together, and not one person playing as two fighters. I hope you play this with your friends. In shared content, many people have uploaded their customized Mii Fighters. Up until now, it may have been a little Hell difficult yeah, to use since you were not able to customize your special moves. But moving forward, you will be able to freely customize your special moves. If you find a Mii Fighter that you like the look of, you can freely download them and set the special moves however you want and play as them. However, this will not be applied to Mii Fighters created before this software update, and only applies to Mii Fighters created after the update, so I hope you re-upload your Mii Fighters. Please enjoy many different varieties of Mii Fighters. We will add in some Mii Fighter costumes as well. Please take a look. Alright, what's our costume? So let's see what let's see which characters are cancelled. Wow. Let's see, let's see what characters are cancelled. Oh, Mega Man got cancelled. Mega Man is cancelled. Oh, Mega Man 10 also got cancelled. Oh, Mega Man's cancelled. I thought these costumes already existed. Zero be cancelled. Oh. Zero. Cancelled. Yes. It's already existed. Oh, Team Rocket got cancelled. Because yeah. if you're like, representing it, it's like, Oh! We've added a costume for Sans from Undertale, who was a popular guy. And this Sans outfit also comes with a music track. This will be listed in the other category, so you can check it out there. The arrangement was made by none other than the creator of Undertale Toby has actually visited my house, and we played Super Smash Bros. Ultimate together. He played Smash was actually really good. Of all the guests, he was probably the strongest. When we both chose random and played, the win ratio was about half and half. Or I may have been losing. Next, I'd like to talk about a new set of Amiibo that will soon be available. Yeah. Squirtle. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Sans in Sans Smash. Ivysaur. It's happening. Alright, alright, I win. Alright, 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 al
Yeah. Also available September 20th. What does the leader today mean? Uh, after the directive. I'm already ready to spawn up. Yeah, I'm ready to spawn up now. As mentioned, Wait, so as mentioned in Nintendo Direct, Terry Bogard will be joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Out, right? Although we showed the reveal trailer, there was hardly any in-game footage. Some of you may wonder where the in-game footage is. Well, it's shaping up nicely. But we weren't quite ready to include it in the reveal. That SNK Neo Geo opening was fun, wasn't it? I'm just gonna explode. I literally am gonna explode. I'd like to show you just a little bit of in-game footage of Terry. Here you go. What's he looking like? Alright. Oh, that! He's a cool scene! Oh, they so they already have some good gameplay. I like this. They were right about gameplay. Wait, this guy's also smashed? Finally. It was announced that we will be working on even more DLC fighters. To me, it feels like the finish line is sliding farther away. You may wonder, how much longer can he be involved with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? But I'm also excited. Adding more characters into the game means that more game worlds will be added to the series. And ultimately, that means that there will be an even greater opportunity to delight the fans. At the same time, I feel that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is now representing so many characters in game worlds that it's become an enormous game. Even if the Super Smash Bros. series continues moving forward, I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters together again. And so, I want to keep improving on this record as much as possible. And I will continue to work hard at developing the game. I appreciate your support. That's it for today. Thank you very much. Oh, what a presentation, huh? Wow! No, guys, and then wow. this guy's playing Megalovania and then said, da da da, and then the student got shaking, it's like, damn, you smashed. No, uh, but wow! Wow. <laughs> Alright, um. Is he, is he up there? No, I don't think so. Alright, <laughs> so. What is everyone thinking about this game? Or about Sands. This game? Sands. 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 Like, I knew he wouldn't be a character. And I, 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 I'm just... He can't be a true I'm, character, guys, though. So. It doesn't matter. He's in the game. The, the music is in the game. Yeah, That's we have like a Megalovania remix. <laughs> right, I'm going to make a room. I've I'm been calling it for so long. And I'm right, so um, glad I'm right. Oh. I'm, How many Sam's stages I'm not happy that I'm Zero. Sam's? Oh, you mean custom about... stages? Mm -hmm. All right. Hold up. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at other people, YouTubers, and I can't. I. Oh. I. You know, I, Etika would be going crazy over yeah, this. Yeah, I know. Oh. 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 I'm, oh. Just, I'm just gonna look at Alpha's direct. You know what? Let's let's have a moment of silence for our fallen boy. Thank you. All right. Fallen boy, what does that mean? Your Joy-Con boys. All right. Come on. I All right. Damn. So. It says I'm using the latest version. Oh no. So I think that's um, that's all for today, and I'll see you guys Wait. later. Oh. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. What? ASMR. <laughs>